I can see a lot of new shorts opening right now on Bitcoin. And the reason for this is we are getting a swing failure pattern above these series of highs. And for many, including myself, a lot of the time, this would be a great short trade. I'm here to tell you in this video why I am not shorting this high. I am remaining long and chill, you could say. I am looking for a new all-time high next. Okay, I have no short trades at all open, zero. And I do have, of course, all my longs, and I am looking for the new all-time high to come. So this swing forward pattern for me is not a short trade. So let me explain the reasons why, okay, and the exact trades that we have upcoming for the rest of the week to come, as I do remain bullish and I am looking for a brand new all-time high on Bitcoin. What a week we have ahead of us as we're getting very close to the halving, right? Wow, what a time. And I want to pick up right where we left off the last YouTube video, right? So this was the last YouTube video I made and we had such a lovely scenario where we could see live in the time the break of the channel high. And I was explaining why this was, of course, not a short trade because we had the open interest increases, the volume, the order flow was looking good. We had a lovely time to analyze that together. Go on to emphasize to my champion members, of course, after that, the order flow is definitely not what I would call bearish. No short trades to be taken here. We go on in the end to form a little bit of a range, ending in a swing failure pattern of that range low, which by the way is the current low of even that. Uh, we form a little bit of a mini range swing failure pattern and it's like simple like this, right? Order flow is really giving the best win rates right now. It helps you avoid taking short trades. It helps you remain really with this very clear bias, which I've told you <laughs> to the champion members. I've even copied and pasted this over on Twitter, right? I'm telling you all, I remain bullish, long and chill, no short trades open. I have all my longs open and I'm looking for a new all-time high. This was last week. It's the same this week and it's been the same for <laughs> the whole of this year, right? And I say here, making it simple and clear, there are too many fake trader influencers running groups. They are scared of making clear predictions in fear of being wrong. Love me or hate me, I make my trades and predictions clear and easy to understand. I am bullish and looking for new all-time highs on Bitcoin. Who is with me? You cannot doubt that, right? I've, I'm, I'm really holding true to my word. I told you all, I want to keep the trend. I want to be very clear and transparent to you all. I am long and chill. I am no short trades. This was back in October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Long and chill, bullish continuation for new all-time highs. And I'm saying the game right now, even though, yes, I know people will be shorting this swing failure pattern. And that's why I want to make this video. Because, well, let's just say I'm pretty good at reading the market, right? And I do not feel that this is the reversal area. So at the very least, we can get a back test here, okay? And then I will look for, of course, that continuation to new all-time highs. I will even give you the exact pivot that we are rejecting from right now. And that is when we take a fixed range tool of the current range we're in from the start of the triangle to the end or the sideways range. Look at this, the precision off of the value area high. Just like when we found support here, it was right off of the value area low. Confluence, by the way, Fibonacci from low to high, put that onto the CC. And of course, you had the CC in the value area low, which gave a very nice support bounce. I can give you the exact pivot that we rejected from the value area high, but for me, this is not a short. And the only way, I tell you, the only way that I can judge this, even though you have visibly you know, when you look at the chart, you can see there is a clear reaction to the dollar off the value area high. You do have a swing failure pattern, right, of this high potentially forming, okay, on the four hour chart. So you do have a technical reason why you would want to be taking that short trade now. Okay, you understand? I, I, I would say this is an acceptable short trade. I can, I can fully understand why people are taking it. And it's only through reading the context, it's through reading the order flow that we have going on within this rise to the upside that I can judge and make what I would class as an informed decision, okay, of why personally I am not shorting at this pivot, okay? And for me, that's, that's what's really key here. Okay, I've, I've said it once, I'll say it again, you always have levels, right? You have, uh, you know, you're going to have your naked point of controls, you're going to have your weekly levels, your daily levels, your higher term time frame levels, your Fibonacci levels. Okay, so there's always a lot of levels on the chart. And what you have to really be able to decipher or, or work out is, okay, which level, okay, have, I have marked out, do I want to trade? Which levels do I want to remain, you know, 
viewing it, okay, it's a level, but I do not want to take the trade. Okay, and for me, of course, this value area high is a level. Okay, uh, but for me, I do not want to actually take the trade. I've been aware of it for the last few days. I've been aware of a fake out as well of this triangle for the last few weeks. But as it's come to fruition, we've got the breakout. For me, this is a clean, healthy breakout. We know on the breakout, we saw the open interest increasing. Okay, for me, this is a good positive sign in the order flow. We've seen the trade counts also looking very bullish. Okay, so for me, there is no reason to take the short trade. OK, so for me, it comes down to really simply like I have my plan. I have my bias, which I've been making clear for weeks and months. OK, that I am really simply very bullish indeed. I am no short trades at all. And I am looking for new all time highs, even when we're getting reactions at what we could say are key levels. I'm still emphasizing the not I'm not taking the short trade here. And that is, again, based off of the order flow, the order flow for me is what gives you that massive win rate increase. Okay, so I wanted to push this video out really quickly, just because I know a lot of people are going to be itching. For, for some reason, it's the same reason over and over again, right? People just itch and want to take shorts, they want to take shorts, they want to take shorts, you know. We're in a bull market, my friends, we are we're in a bull market, you know, just just trade the trend, you know. I, I switch to a swing trader because I'm telling you, it's such an easy, relaxed way of trading. OK, I'll look for a new all time high. And that is where I might take my next short trade. If we get the failed auction or swing failure pattern, you know, that of all time highs, well, then, yeah, I'll be interested in a short trade. But anything here internally, nah, not for me. The order flow is bullish. I am absolutely looking for the new all time high and I have full confidence in my trading plan, my predictions for that to be the case. Again, I've been extremely transparent and clear and honest with you all that that's my bias and that's what I'm looking for. If I am wrong, I'll be the first to hold my hands up and say I was incorrect with that prediction. I'm very sorry indeed. But I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I'm being very transparent when doing so. And I am bullish and I'm looking for a new all time high to come on Bitcoin. I'm not shorting this reaction and I am remaining long and chill for that new all time high pivot. From there, I will check to see if we get a failed auction. And if that is the case, then, of course, I can activate a short. Otherwise, long and chill for continuation to higher Fibonacci pivots. Thank you ever so much. I want to get this one out. Hope you've enjoyed. And as always, I remind you, the updates are always given first to the champion members. That's where you'll get clear trading setups, bias predictions that I have got and ongoing. OK, so if you want that, you know where to get it via chartchampions.com. The whole educational material, OK, the Discord read only channels where we, me and myself and the other coaches give trading updates. You know, we've got live trading going on. You've got the educational library. you just got everything in a one-stop platform, everything that you need in one place. What more could you want? If you want to be good at trading, this is the place to be. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to go back to the charts. Cheers. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Long and chill. <laughs>